Now what we're going to do on this same market, we're going to stop trading it momentarily because I want to show you, we've looked at micro charts already, we've looked at the Betfair charts already, but we do have a very powerful tool in BetAngel which is the advanced charts. These can be used on any screen that you wish. And what we're going to do here is um, instead of using the Betfair charts, we're going to close those down and we're going to use the much more sexy advanced charts. Now I won't go into detail on how to create all of the features within advanced charting, but basically you can create any view of the market you want by looking at an advanced chart. Um, and not only that, but you can see we're looking at um, Ultimatum de Roy. And you can see actually we've got a load of indicators within here as well. But the big advantage is that you can actually go backwards in time here and have a really close look. So you can see when we joined this market, Ultimatum de Roy was stuck at about sort of, you know, nines or tens. And then you can see here um, the activity that has brought the price down. And then it stabilized a bit, and then the price has come down and down and down and down and down and down and down. Um, so you can see these charts are just so much better than the Betfair charts because they allow you to look at stuff in much more depth. And if you want to, we can zoom out for a much longer term view of exactly how the price activity has gone. You can see it's still updating to the right here because we've zoomed out so far. Or if you're looking sort of say around here and you're thinking, well, that's interesting, so, you know, what, what happened here? What we can actually do is we can zoom right in as well. So we can go into here and start looking in much more depth at all of the details and information that occurred in and around there. On this particular chart, I've got several indicators in the middle here, the market volume, how much is being staked here, and I've got various line charts above it. But you can actually customize this to look at any aspect of the market that you wish. And I suggest you look at specifically the video for advanced charting so that you can learn how to use it. Because you can see here that we've got a huge amount of predefined charts that you can use. You can create your own. You can fill this list up with a billion different charts if you wish. Uh, a billion different indicators, billion different lines, different ways that it's plotted. There's just so much that you can do. So I advise you strongly when you start using charts to start creating your own because that will give you your own unique view in the market. Um, but again, see, we can pin this over here. They've just gone in play now. Uh, we can pin this over here um, and then we can actually save that out as our special layout. So Peter's advanced charting. And if we want to flick between these two, it would be very easy to do so. We just need to go to this um, here. You can see I've got loads saved here already, but I can flick between the two here uh, very quickly and uh, go back to the one click screen layout if I want to. Um, or go back to the advanced chart layout. Just uh, takes a little flick of the mouse and then you're there. Also on the advanced charting here, you can actually link it to the market, to a specific ladder or to the mouse. So basically as we drag our mouse over individual runners in this market when we're assessing information, you can see the advanced chart will update. Because this race is in play now, the, the charts will go crazy. Uh, charting fails as soon as the market goes in play because that then relies upon what's going on in the underlying market. Nothing to do with supply and demand, which is why you use charting before uh, the start of an event. But um, there are the advanced charts and I recommend that you use those as well. So we've skipped forward to the next market and what you can actually see here is the advanced chart is populating and that is because, and the micro charts for that matter, the, the Betfair chart um, is stored by Betfair and records activity over the course of the whole market. But of course, you know, half of this was when the market opened 12 hours ago, and then half of this is the last sort of 10 minutes or so. So it contains data, but it's slightly distorted. But when you use BetAngel, um, what actually happens is uh, it has to populate data as you arrive at the market. So you can see it's beginning to populate that data. You can't, we can't zoom back at the moment. Uh, two reasons actually. One is it's on mouse and we need to have it on market. But the other reason is it hasn't collected that data yet. So there's no bar to zoom backwards and forwards on at this particular moment in time. So um, it only collects data as you arrive at a market. But there is a way uh, around this. And to do this, we need to use Guardian, which is this little thing here. So if we go to Guardian, click on this. This is one of these nice little tips that you'll get. I'll bring up Guardian for you because it's arrived at another screen.
You can see at the moment there are no markets in Guardian, there's nothing there. But if I go to Quick Picks, select UK and Irish Racing, or you select whatever you want in Guardian. Again, there's a separate video dealing with uh, the use of Guardian because it's, it's, a, it's a piece of software in its own right. But on this occasion, we're just going to go to Quick Picks, select those two, and start populating the markets in Guardian. And what Guardian will cleverly do for us now is even if we're not looking at a market, it will start gathering charting data in the advanced charts for you automatically. So you don't actually need um, to arrive at a market and start populating the advanced charts. It will have populated it for you already. So let's have a look at that again. The way to do that is to go to Guardian when you first start your trading session, click on Guardian, go to Quick Picks, select whatever markets you want, add them to Guardian. It will populate Guardian with all of the markets that you've suggested and it will then start gathering data that you can look at when you arrive on this particular market.